hiring a flooring installer? Here is a six key tips you can't afford to miss. This is not a legal or professional advice. Subfloor preparation. The subfloor must be clean, level, and dry. Any imperfections can affect the final result. All subfloors must be flat. Ask your installer how they are going to address any uneven areas. Cement-based products must be used as a patching or leveling compound. Second tip, baseboards. First option, removing baseboards during flooring installation, can give a neater and more polished appearance as the flooring can be installed underneath the baseboards. Second option is to install quarter round molding. It is generally less expensive than removing and reinstalling baseboards. Confirm with installer whether they will install quarter round or remove and reinstall baseboards. Both options are technically correct, just a matter of your choice and budget. Third, door casing and jams. While selecting flooring, consider the thickness of your existing flooring and new. When new flooring is thinner than existing, expect to deal with gaps at door casing and jams. If you choose to go with thinner flooring, in order to avoid gaps and achieve a neat look, build up your subfloor with sheeting or other approved materials. Other solutions for door casings and jams might be available. Consult with your installer during the planning stage of the project. Fourth point. Floor pattern. In plank flooring installation, there are three most seen patterns, stair step, random stagger, and H pattern. Avoid stair step and H pattern. With plank installations, a random stagger will provide improved structural stability and appearance. Ask the installer on the pattern that they are going to install your floors. Do not assume that the installer will use random stagger pattern. Fifth tip, insurance. Verifying insurance from a contractor is a crucial for financial protection. It's a proactive step that safeguards your interests and ensures that the construction project proceeds smoothly and with minimal potential for negative outcomes. To verify insurance from a contractor, you can typically request proof of insurance certificates directly from the insurance company. Sixth tip. Contract. Agreement. A written contract with a floor installer is vital for setting clear expectations, preventing misunderstandings, protecting both parties' interests, and providing a legal framework for the project.